My name is Ron Young from Monkey Island, Oklahoma, and I had the honor of doing my student teaching right here at Will Rogers High School. Yes. But this morning I'm here to introduce my dear friend, Charlotte Head. Our friendship began at the University of Tulsa when we were singing the Arthur Heswood Martin Choir together. We had great times in making music and on those choir trips. Later, when I moved to New York City, and she was returning from her two-year stint in the Peace Corps. She stopped by my apartment for dinner with friends and shared some of her incredible experiences of those two years in Africa. Then we went our separate ways, but always staying in touch with either a phone call or a Christmas card. Now remember, there's something to be said about long-term friendships that don't require constant contact. It's very special. Some of our good times. I taught Charlotte the water ski at my home up on Grand Lake. Now, I won't say if she got up the first time, the second time, or the third time, but she got up. And then, when she worked at the Smithsonian Museum in Washington, at the American Museum, and then in New York City, I got to see those exhibits through her eyes. It was very, very special. When she taught at Cornell University in Ithaca, New York, I went to visit her, and we had a grand adventure learning to snow ski. That would be cross country, not downhill. <laughs> and then our travels together. One of my favorite, we saw La Sacra Familia, the Gaudi Cathedral in Barcelona, Spain, before leaving on a Mediterranean cruise to Italy. Right behind that was seeing the Garth Brooks concert one night, and the next night going to the National Finals Rodeo in Las Vegas. Then very specially, she came to see me when I was directing and choreographing the students in the production of On the Town at the University of Santa Fe. Being there opening night made it even more special for me. I have always been in awe of Charlotte's abilities as a musician and a scholar, and how she could combine them in her work, her writings, her teachings, and her recordings. This led to her becoming one of the preeminent voices in Native American music in America. Now, Charlotte has always been a treasure in my life, but I feel that her body of work qualifies her as a certified American treasure. So it is with great honor that I introduce the Will Rogers High School Hall of Fame 2016 inductee, my dear friend, Dr. Charlotte Wilson Head. Charlotte Wilson Heth, Ph.D., class of 1955, Professor Emerita of UCLA, is a citizen of the Cherokee Nation of Oklahoma. Throughout her career, she continued researching, doing applied work in, and publishing American Indian music, ethnomusicology, dance, education, and other American Indian topics. An extensive traveler, Charlotte served with the Peace Corps in Ethiopia for two years, with the distinction of being the first female volunteer from Oklahoma. She then taught at the junior high and high school level before her career at UCLA. While there, she held graduate seminars in contemporary American Indian issues, cultural worldviews of Native America, among other things. When I first started at UCLA, uh, that I think there were only two graduate students who were American Indian. In the beginning, nobody knew what ethnic studies meant. Uh, it was just a made-up term. We have three guests today from uh, Northern California. Uh, in the center, Lauren Bomelin, who's going to sing a uh, song for us in just a second, an opening song, prayer song. And to his right, Joy Sundberg. And to my right, Eileen Figueroa. Uh, do you want to sing that song? Okay. Hey, hey, Andre, well, Andre, 
Uh, that no matter what, if you have this, if you sing your song, no matter how ugly your basket is when you make it, somebody will come along and buy it. And she'll sing her little basket song, and if you listen, uh, you can hear it, uh, because she's talking about the person that throws the basket into the Klamath River, and it goes down the river. Ay -ya, ay -ya. Today I want to introduce uh, two of my very dear friends from Oklahoma. On my far left is Mr. Willie Jumper from Tahlequah, Oklahoma, which is the capital of the Cherokee Nation. And sitting next to me is Archie Sam from Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, and he's also Cherokee and Creek Indian. And we're going to be talking today about various uh, ceremonies that still happen in Oklahoma and other kinds of songs that people are singing. to realize that there were no textbooks for any of these things in the 70s. There were no textual material. There were very few faculty. Most of the faculty who were interested in Indian studies were non-native people. One of the uh, watchwords we had was, we are still here, and we're going to be here. And what we have to say is worthwhile, and where we come from is worthwhile, and we want you all to know about it. In 1994, she left the teaching profession to accept the post of Assistant Director for Public Programs at the National Museum of the American Indian, Smithsonian Institution. There, she curated exhibits and led workshops for museum professionals and educators. Upon her retirement, she served as visiting curator at the Musical Instrument Museum in Phoenix. Charlotte is multilingual and has been featured in numerous publications, films, and recordings. Among the many honors she has received, Charlotte was inducted as an honorary member of the Society for Ethnomusicology. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a warm welcome to Professor Charlotte Pett. about Will Rogers High School was we got such a good education here that we were thoroughly prepared for college, at least my, I was. And uh, even some of the palaces at the first university I went to, which shall remain nameless, uh, were, were not as good as the ones I got here. And, and that, was, that made me transfer back here to the University of Tulsa. This is not the first time I've been on this stage. Being a musician, I was here a lot of times with the choir, with various musicals, with class plays, things of that nature. And I'm just so happy to see that everything has been rejuvenated and brought back to its 
original glory, so to speak, in this wonderful building. I think you should be happy you're here and, and that you have teachers who are dedicated and that you're getting a good education because you can't, you can't, it's the best thing you can have happen to you. I never wanted to be a teacher. And I even wrote it in, in one of the essays they made us write when you're in school, you know, what you want to be when you grow up. I said, never going to be a teacher. Don't have the patience to be a teacher. Never want to be a teacher. I was a teacher for 30 years. <laughs> <laughs> and anyway, one of the things I tried to do as a teacher was to make a good place for people to learn. In other words, I, my philosophy was that the students were not there for me. I was there for the students. So I was going to make sure that everybody I came in contact with, if they wanted to learn, they had the chance to learn. And so that's been my philosophy. And also in music, I always emphasize the sound of the music because a lot of people in the world don't have musical notation. And if, you're, if you learn off a piece of paper, it's not the same as learning from one of these people you saw in the video, uh, you know, one-to-one -one basis, or playing in a, a, a band with, with people or be, even being on stage in a musical. And maybe the principal singer in the musical doesn't know how to read music, has to be taught by somebody else. So I, what I'm saying is embrace all of the chances you have, whether they're uh, academic, which I, I did, whether they're performance, whether they're uh, engineering, or anything else that you want to do in your life. Uh, not, because of my age, my parents did not both graduate from high school. And I was the first one in my immediate family on my dad's side who went to college, other than one of his cousins. And on the other side, I only had one cousin ahead of me who, who went to college. So never mind what people say you can't do. Just remember what you can do. And this is the best place to get prepared for it.